Hello, my YouTube fam out there. I am now taking treasure hunting to the next level. I'm not just looking through my pocket change to find money worth money. Now I got me a nice fat ass metal detector with a metal detector wand. Came with all this cool stuff, including this bag to hold it. And if you look right here, you can get his own shovel. Isn't that sweet? <laughs> I like that. But stay tuned because I'm going to examine some coins for you and let's see what we can find. Hello again, my YouTube peeps out there. As you can see, I got Metal Changer in front of me. And apparently my uh, light doesn't want to stay on, which really sucks, but it casts shadows. See how long I keep this on for. Okay, as you can see, we got metal changer for you. Quarter. These are these are basically two days worth of metal change I got from stores. Well, and they're all pennies, of course. So let's inspect these quarters. Let's see here. Well, it's not a bad looking little quarter. No, oh, sorry. Not a bad looking little quarter. I'm not exactly sure what the date is, though. Ooh, it's a 23D. What's worth the 23D here? There's supposed to be like a die chip on this somewhere. I can't remember exactly where. But what I do, I bet you guys know for sure. The next thing up is this. Damn, you can't get in the camera. Is this dime? It looks like it's a 2020. It's not bad though. Oh, now we got one of these lame ass shield pennies. So, as far as the pennies go, let's see if I can get that in there. There we go, that works. Okay, but as far as the pennies go, let's see here. Yeah, 2.5. So he's good. Got a few pennies. 2.5. He's good. Same. 2.5. And then the last penny. 2.5. That doesn't discount these pennies. These pennies can actually still have die chips or, you know, other die. Uh, double die errors on them. So you can look at those. I'll put those in the microscope. And then we got another quarter. Eh. Let's see here. Interesting. Hmm. And then we got this other quarter. It's another stated quarter. Uh, I don't recognize that one. Yeah, pretty cool though. I'll admit that. And then you got this cool little nickel. So you can't really see a date on it that well, but it's all good. Every one of these goes under microscope. And then two more pennies. We've got a shield penny. 2.5, so he's good. 2.5, so he's good. Okay. Why I'm weighing them is because pennies weigh, on average, 2.5 grams. In one of my future videos, I'll put a list up of all the weights of all the all the coins, so you can figure out if you got a, a high a high weight coin or a low weight coin. So let's go and look at these pennies, shall we? Let's see if there's anything special in them. Put that up there. Anyway. Mm -hmm. I don't see nothing yet. I'm gonna stack them all up here and get them all out. Oops, don't lose our pennies either because you gotta weigh all the pennies. That takes time. Well, of course, as soon as you get out of packaging, it takes time too. I think I might just uh, forgo the unwrapping in front of you guys in the next one. 
or I'll just speed it up for you. I'm going to because this is taking forever. And that's all the pennies. Okay, we'll see here. Mm. Ooh, 3.05. He's copper. Ooh, 3.11. Oh, he's copper too. Ooh, I wonder. Point five. Three point one four. He's a good one. But draw me back when I actually start to put him on the microscope, and let's see what we can find. So until that, well, like I said, just stick with me on this one. And now to the microscope we go. First thing we're gonna put on here is the nickel. Nineteen seventy seven D. <laughs> he is so hatched up. Oh my gosh, he is just terrible. He is so scratched up. The back probably has nothing either. Yeah, the back is pretty bad too. As far as your silver change goes, if you get a date right here that is before 1965, you have a 90% silver coin on your hands. So make sure it's like 1964 and earlier for the 90% silver. So let's go to the next one. We're going to go hit this beautiful, beautiful dime. We're going to hit all the metal change at once. Just makes it easy. At 2020D. I don't think there's anything special about him. Um... I'm just casting shadow on here to see if there's like, you know, any possibility of a double die. But I don't see any. There'll also be double die right here in these leaves right here. You'll be able to see it. It's very noticeable. That might make this dime worth money, but this dime is worth nothing, like besides 10 cents. And let's hit the pennies. The 2022D. Nothing special I can see. It, it's casting shadows to make it look like there's a double die cast there, but there's not. I mean, see it all disappears. You'll be able to see it easily. And then you go to. You know, I'm just going to you know, start giving up on these shield pennies because there's so many of these dang things. Because, I mean,. Come on, man. I mean, that is definitely the first shield of Captain America. Guaranteed. And keep an eye out for some of these pennies because right up here, where the America is, the MM, some pennies will have the close AM, which will make worth money. Other pennies will have the far AM, the wide AM, which makes worth money. It depends on the date of the penny and also the condition of how much it's worth. Um, another shield penny. Ooh, 2023D. This one is supposed to have, if it's a P, it's supposed to have doubling. Wait, wait here. You guys see this mark right here? I mean, that don't actually look like wear and tear. What is that? Let's see if find out. Huh. Well, I don't know. I mean, this little piece right here is all circled. We got that piece going across up over there. Well, I'll say it's nothing big, you know. This is how it is, you know. We get the 2023 P. There's supposedly doubling on it, which makes it worth money. That's the next penny. These are my pocket change pennies. 1983 D. Almost looks like a die chip right here in this D, but you don't because you can actually see it. So let's go to the last bit of our metal change. That metal change being the pennies I got that weighed 3.1 grams or more from the payroll. 
First thing we've got is a 1977D and let's see here. That might be a die chip right there because it almost looks like it's filled in right there. But as far as the rest goes, um, there is no way I could tell. And on these ones right here, watch out for this roof right here. Certain ones that actually, certain dates, if different dates it is. Um, these sidewalls on the bottom of the roof right here, right down here, are gone. And they call that a floating roof penny. And that's worth money. And in other pennies right here in the columns, you'll notice a lot of doubling. That's also worth money. So I said that one aside. That one might be a die chip. Probably worth nothing, but copper goes for copper, you know. Mm. I don't know. I mean, look at that. I mean, I'm casting a shadow on it still. I'm not going to call that a die chip. Just because, you know, it doesn't look like one. Let me just show the back, right? I mean, I, I'm going to have to look at the dates for the ones that have the AM, &M, for the wide AM, and the close AM that are worth money. And I'll post it on here for you guys. And this one, ooh, nope. It almost looks like it, but no. It wouldn't make it worth any money, anyways. I think that penny for the die chip would probably be worth, like, the price of copper. I could be wrong. Mm. Mm. That one almost looks like doubling right in this column right there. See that? Maybe a little bit right there. You can see the roof. But it'd be more noticeable doubling. But that does look like doubling right there. But I could be wrong. Most like I am. And we're going to throw this paint into the scope. Oh, that is definitely a die chip. I mean, look at how that D's filled in. That's a die chip. 1979. Other thing is to look for is right over here by his ear. Look for doubling on certain pennies because if there's doubling on the ear there, it makes it a little bit worth money. Uh, nothing for liberty. Uh, no flying roof, no doubling. Uh, so nothing there. I got about 1976, 1970 pennies. Nothing there. I don't really see any doubling. Although that W right there does look like a massive die chip. Look at that, how bad that looks. That's like a weird W. Then I also look at the E right next to it. Look at that. That could be right there. Because that does look like a die chip problem right there. Big time on the, on the Wii. I'll have to get that checked out and make sure it's accurate. But it does look pretty authentic. And on the back, uh, so the United States of America, no floating roof, no doubling. So I'll put that on the side. 1970. You know what? I'm actually going to give you some information here on pennies. Okay. Ooh, 1970S is a doubling. Well, this is just a regular 1970, so there's no doubling. But you can, they said 1947 doubling with the words and the date for the pennies. Um, how about, we'll go 2022, the VDB doubling. The VDB is referring to, well, this does not have it on it. Oh, yeah, oh, I don't see it on there, and the initials are usually like right here sometimes too, there's a G there, it's pretty worn off, mm. those do look like some, some pretty thick letters right there, I think, Maybe it would be hard to notice if it's doubling, but it also looks like there might be a die chip right there in the A, the, the center of it. Put that one aside. There's a few more pennies. 
1982D. Ooh, small date error and 3.1 grams. Does weigh 3.1 grams. Uh, but it's not a small date error. How do I think the small date error is if this 8 and this 2, the bottom lines up perfectly with each other, the 1. But as you can see, the bottom of this 8 goes, sags below the 2, so that's not an error. It'd be great if it was. It'd be a small date error. And that one is hard to make out. But it will. Okay, one more penny after this one, then we're going to be done today. Sorry for making this so long. 1981D. I do not think there is one from 1981. Um, I do have a lot of pages, so I could be wrong. But I do not see it. So nothing from 1981 that I can see. No fly roof. I don't know about the AM on that one. And no doubling. Last penny. The seek. Will it be a good one? A 1982D again. Okay now. Mm, no doubling. Okay. Let's see the back. Huh. It'd be noticing, noticeable if there's doubling in the letters. And that is all the coins we have for today. So you guys have a wonderful evening out there.